The past year has seen unprecedented changes in our children's education, and some will have suffered more than others. I'm Benjamin Zephaniah. I know from personal experience what disruption to your education can do. I had to move schools quite often as a child and had real difficulties learning to read and write. I've since become established as a poet, author and playwright. I'm a university professor and I've written more than 20 books. But at the age of 10, that would have seemed impossible. As an adult, I was diagnosed with dyslexia, but no one picked that up at school. Instead, I just felt stupid. Can you say these letters out loud for me, please? A, C, K, N, S, T. But the technology for analysing children's reading ability is advancing all the time. Children Some schools across the UK are now using a new artificial intelligence programme devised by a company called Lexplore Analytics, which can pinpoint areas where a child may need help. The football game ran really late tonight. The computer uses eye tracking to see where the reader's eyes are moving as they're reading. The speed, the accuracy, the fluency, and the way that the computer program works, the artificial intelligence will diagnose the areas they find difficult, the letters that they get stuck on, and the words that they, they can't read. Can you help me out with these special friends? Can you tell me what this one makes? One of the children identified as needing help is six-year-old Dalton. Dalton struggles with his reading and writing, which was a bit like me back in school. I didn't get the encouragement that I needed to give me a, a good education, um, good grades for work or jobs. I am just so grateful now they are getting technology to help try and make my children's life a bit better than what we had. When I met him today, I saw a bright kid in front of me who was struggling to read, but actually he wanted to read. The other advantage that he has is you, you know, parents that care. I did struggle and I don't want to see them go through the same thing. I want to have a go at the Lexplore test myself and I can't imagine this is going to go well. The children took turn, turns telling ghost stories. In the beginning, no one was scared. But after a while, the stories got really terrifying. Where your gaze is going, as the circle gets bigger, that is where you fixated on a particular word. It can also show if you're going back to double check a word. The test comes up as below average. So that would be an indication that we would get support in place. And I'm not ashamed of that. The ability to read is a beautiful thing, but it's not a mark of my intelligence. Clever Trevor scored a goal. Poetry helped me to overcome my difficulties, but I know if I'd had help as a child, I would have felt so much more confident. To gauge the effects of lockdown, this school has recently reassessed every pupil using the software, and it's not good news. This shows us how the children were doing in the testing in October. From year two, 7% needed a high amount of additional support. Five months of homeschooling later, that doubled to 14%. They now are really struggling with their reading. And actually, across our entire school, reading has been affected by COVID. This could seem bleak, except that by identifying those kids with difficulties, the school has been able to target its resources to those who need them most like eight-year-old Annabelle. Annabelle's always struggled with every part of reading, writing. It's just always been difficult. Do you think the technology has helped in any way? Oh, 100%. Because they really know where she's struggling. And we've been doing a lot of different things at home, a lot of board games, so she has yeah. to read and... Reading cookbooks has always been a good one as well. They like yeah. cooking, sort of learning a bit of cooks. So we did that, bit of that. So the fact is, she's actually improved in that period. It's great that technology like this can be used to really focus on where children need support. There should be no stigma attached to having difficulties with reading, just solutions to help children move forward in their own individual way.